the class str which allows us to create string objects is one of the most commonly or widely used data type in python an str is simply a text that you enter with the help of a quotes which can be a single or double quotes for example i can say here name equals to vinod in single quotes or i can say name 2 equals to double quotes vinod which are identical so you can check here now by typing id of name and id of name 2 they both are same because both of them are referencing to the same object the object vinod got constructed in the first time here and was referenced by this name but later when i assigned using a double quotes python realizes that the object vinod already exists and just simply gets the reference of that so there is only one str object called vinod both name one and name two are pointing to or referencing to the same thing sometimes a string may consist of double or single quotes as part of their text for example if i want to say name or name 3 equals to alfred de souza and now you can see this is going to be a problem because the beginning quote gets terminated over here and this is an error because you can't simply type whatever that you want here so this is going to cause a problem it says that invalid syntax now this can be best addressed by typing name 3 equals to in double quotes you say alfred and then single quotes is going to be part of that like this so the double quotes which got opened over here gets terminated only at this point in time and now python will assume that this is an actual character you wanted inside the string and not a ending of any open quotes or not a beginning of a quotes that is going to be terminated at the end so this is not a problem now you can see name 3 is no problem i can say print name 3 and it simply prints alfred de souza something like this however you may not be able to combine both of them for example what if i want to have a variable called height which says for example 5 feet 10 inches so if i type here 5 and then we use a single quote to say this feet and the 10 inches right so in a double quotes now obviously my idea is that the quotes which has opened here is terminated at the end making this 5 feet 10 inch as a value but this is going to give a problem because it assumes that the quotes that got opened in the beginning got terminated right here and the last double quotes that we see here is not allowed so if i press enter this is going to cause again a syntax error it says end of line while scanning for a string literal now this is where we can use an escape characters for example the same thing i can use now with an a backslash behind the double quotes so the combination of the slash and the double quotes is now considered as a single character and then it is going to be part of the actual text so which means the opening quote here is terminated at the end by the last one over here and this is perfectly all right and you can say print height and i should get this 5 feet 10 inches something like that python also allows you to use a three single quotes or three double quotes to represent a string for example i can create a variable called my address equals to three single quotes followed by whatever the address i want to give for example i can say elegant elite and i can even press enter here so that it comes to the next line so the purpose of using this three double quotes or three single quotes is to use a multi-line text so until i use this somewhere in my text it's not going to terminate so i can give it in multiple lines so i'll say first cross first main and i can actually press enter then i can type some other details let's say for example i give bangalore now i want to close that i can use a three single quotes now you can only use three single quotes when you started with three single quotes if you started with three double quotes you have to terminate that with three double quotes 
I press enter. Now you can see that we are back in the command prompt. You may also notice that when I pressed enter here after this particular text, I did not get the three greater than symbols, but instead I got three dots. This is to say that the command is incomplete and it is waiting for me to give this three single quotes. As soon as I did that, I pressed an enter and now it says that, okay, the command is complete. Whatever was inside these three quotes is now becomes the value of my address. Now, if you simply type my address and press enter without using the print function, you can see a internal set of characters also which represented that new line. The entire text is given to me as a string here, as you can see single coded text, but wherever I had pressed enter, slash n was included. Slash n corresponds to new line character. On Windows, you may even see slash r along with the slash n indicating new line carriage return. Of course, if you want to see them in multiple lines, use the print function and you can type my address and I should get this as it is. When it is an str, you can make use of a lot of functions provided by str. For example, if you type dir str and look at only those which are not dunder or double underscore attributes. So these are the functions and variables that are available. Mostly these are all functions. So the capitalize is a function which converts first letter of each word into uppercase, converting the rest of them into lowercase. Likewise, there is a, a function here called center which centers the text. There is a function called ends with which checks whether the text ends with a particular pattern or not. For example, I can check name is Vinod. I can check name dot ends with say for example D or OD for that matter it says true but I can check does it end with say AR like Vinod Kumar it says false. So I can check whether a particular name or a text ends with a particular pattern or not. You can also check is it a numerical value for example if I have your uh, x equals to in single quote say 100 so that is a str it's not a number but it contains only numerical value so I can check here is numeric and it says here true because it contains only numerical values but if I say x equals to 100 minus 20 for whatever the reason and if I say here is it a numerical value it says false because minus cannot be part of a number. Likewise we have functions like for example there's a lower there's an upper which actually returns a new string converting them into lowercase or uppercase version. For example I can say name which is currently Vinod I can say name dot upper and you will see that it says uppercase but the original value in the name still is the lowercase we know itself it's creating a new string and returning the same thing there are a couple of functions which are more useful than the others like for example there is a split and join let's have a look at the same so consider a variable called cities equals to i'm giving few cities like bangalore mysore mumbai and let's say Delhi. So now we have a string here, one str, but it has four cities. I can convert them into a individual strings representing cities by calling cities dot split. But then I have to say what is the delimiter or what is that character that separates multiple cities. You can see the two cities are separated using comma. So I can give a comma here saying that, hey, comma is the delimiter so split them wherever you find a comma make them into pieces so the return value of this now is a list as you can see here it's a group of strs so where i have a one value which is bangalore another value is mysore and the value is mumbai another value is delhi so this is called as a list and we have a whole section discussing about lists later but for the time being, I'm just going to copy this and then assign here data equals to this. And if I say type of data, it says it's a list. It's not an STR anymore. But of course, if I say type of data of zero, 
which happens to be the first element here which is an str so data of 0 is an str and you can see it says an str now you can also type printing data of 0 data of 1 2 and 3 of course if I go beyond 3 it's going to give an error now that I have this data can I convert them back to something like this with a de different delimiter now that's where a join comes into picture so the join needs a delimiter first and then specify what to join so I may take here uh, delimiter some variable equals to for example let's say double dash so I want to use this double dash as a delimiter so what can I do I can say delimiter dot join and then I can say data now data happens to be a list of all the individual cities I'm joining them using this delimiter so if I press enter you can see each one of those cities were taken and then pasted or joined using this dash dash as the delimiter so whatever the delimiter you wanted you could have given for example I can say here a slash and now I can say delimiter dot join it's going to give you something like that if you want you can put a dot and then say join 